Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DMOZ and today we are playing some NCAA Road to Glory. So this is the career of uh, Big Cheese, our 6 foot 2, 203 pound outside linebacker. So definitely trying to make a player like Khalil Mack that can rush the quarterback, but also with a bit of Luke Keekley where control the defense through the middle as well. So my three college choices were Penn State, USC and Clemson. Really tried to uh, get a team from each different conference barring the SEC. So hopefully we get some scholarships from them later on. The uh, difficulty will also be on Heisman. So very, very tough difficulty. So um, let's go ahead and get straight into our first game. So for our first high school game, we are going up against North Charleston High School. So we'll definitely see how we're going, see if we can manage this high difficulty. We do win the coin toss and uh, we will elect to receive. So we will have to wait a bit of time to get in the field. But now we get to our first series of the game. So our defense couldn't get anything going, but let's see if we can get something going on offense here. So we need a big stop and... He picks up an 8 yard reception there, so definitely need to work on our coverage skills. So it's now 2nd and 2, see how we're going, we're covering the tight end, see if we can get a stop here, and we can't. That was actually our man making a huge play, so definitely need to work on our coverage skills as I just said. Let's see if we can get a run, so we can show how our run stopping is. And we're covering our player well, the quarterback's going deep. And the receiver actually gets it. He did just moss our center back. So their offense just went a three-play touchdown drive. Our offense does, however, go back down the field and score and convert the field goal to put us ahead by one point. But we definitely need to get things going. We can't let them run. And the quarterback just chucks it to the outside. Four-yard reception. They did pick up a five-yard run there. And it's now fourth and one. So we definitely need a big stop here to see how we can go. So we do pick up the option well and get our offense in a good position. However, they cannot convert. Their offense does start down in their one-yard line. So let's see if we can get a safety. But their running back punches it right up the middle for 13 yards. So it's first and ten again. Four minutes left to go on the second. See if we can get a stop here. They're cutting it to the outside. I do, they do get a good block on me and their running back takes a big rush down the sideline. 20 yard rush. So this offense is definitely having their way with our defense. So let's see if we can get something going here. So second and one. Quarterback's cutting to the outside. We're well defending we're covering and they cut it back in the inside so 15 yard reception quarterback with all the time in the world to throw so they do get a couple of more first downs and we are facing a first and goal situation so they run the option the running back cuts the outside and that is another quick touchdown so we did pick up two crucial scores giving us an eight point lead however there are 23 seconds left and this offense can definitely move the ball quickly quarterback throwing long receiver is wide open picks up a big gain of around 40 yards so we're now facing second and 10 11 seconds to go so we definitely need to stop here can't let them score or even get a field goal so they're going to Punch it down the middle. We do get the stop there. Oh, no, we don't. He does pick the first and 10, but the clock is running. So they are wasting time. So they will get the play off. And they do cut it to the outside, but we read that there. And we narrowly escape getting scored on. So it is now the third quarter, four minutes to go. Scores are still the same. However, it is a second and one here. We need to stop. I read the quarterback, but I do get drawn back into the center. So they did get the first down. It's now second and 10, four minutes to go. See if we can get a stop here. They've had their way with us today. So we get to the quarterback, we rush him, but he gets the ball off. And that is a huge play down the sideline. And a 20-yard reception as a result. 
So this quarterback is definitely very aware of the blitz. So it's now first and 10 again. So they're going to throw again. That is my man leaving him wide open. I get to him, but not after he picks the first down. So they're now on our 30 yard line. They're going to run the option. I read the quarterback. Good read there. If you just had have lateraled it out, they probably would have scored, but we will take it. It's now second and five. We are on our goal line. We need a stop here. We're going to pick it up to the quarterback. I read him, but he stiff arms me in the face and picks up the first down. So we definitely had the play there, but we did not have the strength to stop him. Putting us in a first and goal situation. They kick it out again. I cannot get to the running back in time. So that now makes the scores 21 to 19. They're two points behind. They will go for the two point conversion. So we need to stop them here to not let them tie the scores up. See what they're gonna do. Are they gonna run the ball? They're gonna throw it. They're gonna throw it. I cover the flat well and our front three get to the quarterback. So the scores remain the same. However, there is only 20 seconds to go in this third quarter. So they're at second and eight. I'm going to rush the quarterback, but he gets the ball off in time. And that is a big play. I definitely thought I was going to get my first sack there. However, he can read the blitz very, very well. So we are blitzing again. Third and two. See how we can go. So creep up there. I read the quarterback well, but he still picks up the first down. These Heisman quarterbacks are very strong. I get to him there, but he still punches it through and gets to the first down marker. So we're now facing second and four. I'm dropping back in coverage. See if we can pull out something big here. So they're going to cut it up the inside. I miss the tackle, and the running back punches it through around five guys to pick up the score so it's now 25 to 21 they're gonna go for the two-point conversion to get six points ahead we definitely need to stop here to give our offense a chance I think they will run the ball no they're gonna throw it but they pass it out to the flat and the running back is wide open so we're still down by six there's three minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. So we do need a three and out here to give our offense some chance of getting good field position and punching the ball. Kick it out to the flat. I read the running back there. That is one of the first good tackles I've had on that running back all game. So it did come at a crucial time. It's third and six now. They did just throw an incomplete pass. Picking it up there. I read him. And it's fourth and inches, so we do get him just before the line. So we do get the stop there. We do get a three and out. A big play by Big Cheese there. So we'll see how our offense can do. So a couple of big gains, a big run there, and we get the touchdown. So we will take the lead by one point. However, if we have learnt something today, it is that this offense can get a score very quickly so 55 seconds left to go second and 10 gonna rush the quarterback and we get to him that is a huge play by our defense there so we were near the quarterback but our defensive tackle gets him before we do so third and 18 40 seconds to go they haven't snapped the ball yet don't know why the clock is running they are wasting Precious time that they do need. I think this is a glitch in the game because I can't imagine this happening in a game situation. They've just wasted 20 seconds there. We will see whether they get the ball off before the snap count. So four, three, they just got to get the ball off. They do. They throw it to the outside, but we pick up the interception. So that is a walk off interception from our defense. So we do win our first game. The play of the game was that great interception at the end, which did help us secure the win. So we do finish with five tackles. A uh, little bit of a quiet game, but we're just getting into it. We do get three uh, schools interested in us, Georgia State, Duke, and East Carolina. I think East Carolina is high rated, but I am a fan of the ACC, so I will go with Duke.
So thanks for watching guys. Um, new videos will be out twice a week. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. This was DemoZ. Thank you. Thank you.